Welcome to January's Lead Code Challenge. Today's problem is remove duplicates from sorted list two. Given the head of a sorted linked list, delete all nodes that have duplicate numbers, leaving only distinct numbers from the original list. So we can have a linked list here and we're gonna remove all the duplicates. We're not just gonna make them unique, we're just gonna remove them completely. Now this is gonna be a sorted, um, a linked list. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky to do this, but um, let's think about how we might do it. Well. The very first approach we might think is to just regenerate this list completely. What we can do is traverse through our linked list and count up the number of numbers in each node. Uh, the ones with duplicates, which means um, a count greater than one, we're gonna skip those and just create a new linked list with only the unique numbers and make that in order so that it's sorted. So we can do that. Uh, let's start with that approach. Um, doesn't look like we have to do it in place in any way. So let's start with creating a temporary list. And what we'll do is um, we are going to append to this list all of the node values. So while there's a cur, we will append to our temporary array the cur.value and then just move ahead our cur to equal cur.next. So now we have all of our uh, values in the list. And what we're gonna do is create a counter object. I'll call this C, say counter, and put in temp. So now we're gonna regenerate our temporary array to say uh, for all the key values in C.items, if the value is equal to one, then we'll add it to our temporary list again. So now we have only the unique values. Now we just need to create our um, our linked list, right? So what we can do is say, create a dummy, make this equal to cur, and make this equal to just an empty node here. And this is so that we could uh, pass in the dummy.next as the head. And we will, for all the values in temp, um, say cur.next is equal to list node i, and then say cur equals cur.next, like that. And finally, we just re return the dummy, uh, or specifically what the next one our dummy is pointing to. So that's gonna be the new head. So let's see if this works. Uh, this is the most naive approach and looks like that works. Let's see if it gets accepted. And it does. So this is totally acceptable, but the issue with this is we're gonna be using extra memory, right? Uh, a lot of extra memory here to create our temporary list. So how can we do this in place? And we should know this because um, with linked list, this is sorted and uh, there's definitely some sort of two pointer solution here. So let's think about how we might go about doing this in place. Say that we had um, a sorted list that looks something like that. How about, and also something that looks like, let's say two, three, three, four, four. So what we will need to do um, in order to restructure our linked list is to have some sort of dummy dummy node, right? So we'll call this D, and this D here is gonna be pointing ahead on both of these nodes. So what we'll do is we'll have two pointers, one pointing to the previous node and one that's gonna be checking to see if there's duplicates. So uh, here we'll start with the dummy and we'll have one uh, pointer at one and we'll check to see the next one. Hey, does that equal uh, the value itself. And if it does, then we know that we need to skip this, right? We'll still have a pointer pointing at D. We'll move our pointer head to two, and then we'll have this previous pointer point now to the new one too. Now that works fine, uh, but one thing to keep note is like, what if we had this example here and we had our pointer at D, we move ahead and now we see three, three, so we skip that ahead. Now two is gonna point to four, uh, but Unfortunately, 4.4 four is also, also uh, duplicates, right? So we need to keep our slow pointer um, here at two to make sure that the next one's also not a duplicate. And we'll just continue our algorithm that way to make sure that um, this two is pointing to one that is not duplicate. Uh, and that could actually be here. It's gonna be pointing to the nil here, right? So at the end, it's gonna be one, two, and that's it, one, two, um, we'll first point to four and then we'll check four to point to nil and then it'll be just one, two, nil. Okay, uh, so let's see how we might do this. First thing is to create the dummy node 
uh, we'll have it called this node. And what we'll do is just say, make it zero. And the next is going to be equal to head. Yeah, OK. So now we have our dummy node. And what we'll do is have some sort of slow pointer, right? So the slow pointer is going to be equal to first the dummy. And the head's going to be equal to head. So now this head is going to be that faster pointer that moves ahead. And we'll say while head, uh, let's check to see if head um, dot value is equal to head dot next dot value. Then we want to do a while loop to move this pointer because it could be more than just one. It could be multiple um, numbers. We want to move this you know, head pointer all the way up to the one that's not um, not the same, right? So what we'll do is have some sort of while loop and also need to make sure that there is a head.next before we can do that. So while uh, like that and while um, same thing, head.next and head.value equals head.next value, we will move our head to equal head.next. Uh, otherwise, we will just move ahead our slow one to equal slow.next and also make sure that we move ahead our fast, or not fast pointer, our head to equal um, head, uh, is that right? Head.next. Yeah, I think so. Uh, move our head to equal head.next as well. Okay, so that might be it. So just return the dummy.next now. Let's see if this works. Huh, okay, so that didn't work. Why is that? Um, oh, that's right. I need to make this slow.next equal to the head dot next, right? Let's see if that works. Yeah, I have to restructure it there. Yeah, that's it. So I just got to make sure that the slow pointer, next pointer is now going to be pointing to the heads next because right now when it's, uh, wherever it's at, it's going to be at the one where um, it's right before the non-unique one. So let's submit this. And there we go, accepted. So this is all in place. It would be O of N time complexity and it's probably optimal. So that's it. All right, thanks for watching my channel and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.